Um, I just wanted to share what our day's been like and just um, hopefully encourage you through this video. I have just felt so, so blessed today. Um, yes, it has been a year since my great grandma King passed away. And so there's been some of those memories and somewhat of a sad moments and a little bit of, you know, wishing that I was back in Indiana with my family. But I feel like when, when those feelings or when those times happen, the Lord just is there for me and reminds me of the family and the friends and the environment that I have right now and here in Dabao and that kind of thing and so um today today's really just been a blessing last night was kind of hard um one of the twins got sick three times I think she just ended up eating too much and then had a bottle on top of that and with the excitement of the day and everything um just ended up getting sick we took the twins to the playground yesterday and um, they also got to go to the playground today. There was a like come out and shout, just a time to encourage more people to come to the game. We don't normally have games on Friday nights and so, well I guess it wasn't Friday, Friday afternoon after school. And so it was nice to get to watch the boys play for a little bit. And then I took Thomas and the twins to the playground. And the twins were just enjoying walking back and forth. And um, a lot of the students were just enjoying following them around. And then some of the students were enjoying playing with Thomas. And Thomas was really enjoying that. Um, I went back and forth with, with the thought process with fostering sitting there and saying you know maybe we should have fostered a child that was older maybe we should have fostered a child that was you know Thomas's age or a little bit older because he just wants somebody to play with and um, the twins really aren't the best playmates at this age and um, so yeah if if we do end up just fostering the the twins for a while and then end up fostering another child I think we will lean towards an older child a little bit older um, just so they're closer to Thomas's age and hopefully that would be something or that he would just enjoy getting to play with them and that kind of thing but yeah this evening the girls just wanted to play and we hung out for a little bit and then they went down to sleep really well and so I think the time outside helped with that and Thomas was in a good mood um, Dan ran to the store to grab a couple of things we needed we have a grocery store that has opened up not very far from where we go to church so it's actually really close to our house too and it's just nice that he's able to run and get things be home pretty quick and yeah Thomas just enjoyed playing on the bed with me and um, being tickled and laughing and just joking and being silly and playing under he pulled out one of his blankets and was playing under one of his blankets and then he said I'm tired I want to take a bath and he went and started his bath and so usually he fights that usually um it's a challenge and so i'm hoping that with the twins <laughs> it's later than i normally make these videos <laughs> um i'm hoping that for the twins and for thomas we can have a lot more outside time and just being on the playground and playing and doing all that kind of stuff and Hopefully with that, that they'll sleep better at night. Hopefully they, um, that'll use up some of the energy 
and, and just be good for it. You know, like we're supposed to get outside and get vitamin D and just the fresh air and the socialization and um, yeah. So I, I just, today was really good with that. And then there is a older missionary. She's such a sweet lady that when she was a child, I'm maybe nine years old, her mom, um, her mom and dad fostered. But what ended up happening with the fostering is she was doing the work. She was playing the role of the mother and took care of these kids. And so she understands like what we're going through and has this insight. And then there was um, a family here a while, while ago that um, fostered two boys and then eventually adopted one of them because the other one had passed away. And so she kind of understands part of the process here and system and, and anyways, she wants to be a blessing in whatever way she can and has hung out with us at the playground and I mentioned, you know, that we, with the twins, we've got one on one formula and one on another formula and then Thomas is on a different milk and then we're drinking a different milk and it all adds up. And she's like, well, I just really want to make sure that the twins are taken care of and just be a blessing to you guys however I can. And so she bought us two cans of formula for the one that's on the most expensive formula because it's lactose free. And so like, I think with the formula that we have for both of the twins that we won't have to buy formula in March. And that's, that's big savings. When you're talking about 20 to $25 per can, and we go through about four cans in a month, maybe a little less than that. And so just not having to purchase that, not having to deal with that, like that's, that's a blessing. And um, looking at the bank account today and realizing there's still money in the bank account and we only have one more day of this month. And just people coming alongside us and sitting, you know, sitting with us, hanging out with us, spending time with us, spending time with the girls. It all just makes a difference and is such a blessing. And it helps, it helps me remember that when times get tough, when times get challenging, that the Lord's still with us and the Lord puts those people <laughs> the people in your path that you need and so um yeah it's it's been really good and just it's been fun to get to snuggle thomas tonight and just give him hugs and i i feel for him we were walking to meet dan so that dan could take him to school and Thomas's shoes are a little big, but Thomas absolutely loves his shoes because they're Lightning McQueen, and we couldn't find a smaller size, but he tripped, and his shoe came off, and he has like a little bruise under his eye. Thankfully, it's not like major, um, but you know, it's just one of those things where I just needed a little extra cuddling tonight, and it was fun. It was enjoyable to get to do that. It was, it was fun to get to see Thomas playing with kids on the playground um, today and just the joy that he had. He was making other kids happy. Um, a lot of times on the mission field, families will have only one to two kids. And sometimes there's an age gap between those two kids because you have to you have to think about planning and be strategic and, you know, make sure that you've got enough funds to take care of whatever kids that you do have. And so a lot of times your friends are those that you hang out with on the playground because um, like 
like the one little girl that Thomas was hanging out with tonight. Her brother is one and a half. And she's five or six. And so there's quite an age gap between her and her brother. And there's still an age gap between her and Thomas because Thomas is only four. But they were still, you know, able to play and run around. And it, it was just, it was neat to see. Um, and it was just neat to make some memories and to get outside and yeah, it's it doesn't always work out, you know, the way that you would think it would with having so many kids, um, having so many, I only have three, but having three kids the age they are, and I'll admit, sometimes it's hard to get out of the house, but I think it, life has actually been easier now that I'm at least making the effort to go to the playground because if I'm at the playground with the twins and Thomas when other people are there, those other people want to hang out with the twins and want to hang out with Thomas. And so then I have extra eyes and ears and, and hands and help and um, it's a blessing. It's, it's nice not to feel like you're in it all alone and we're not and so, um, but yeah. So we had a bunch of playground fun the last few days and just enjoying life and smiling and <laughs> yawning and realizing I need to go to bed. So we'll talk to you later. Bye. God bless.